Okay guys, let's dive straight into it. At the end of the day, there are three main stages in a toxic couple relationship. Idolizing, devaluing, and discarding. Love bombing is a clear sign of idolizing. They tell you that you are the best thing that's ever happened to them. And they push for commitment really early. They try to place you on a pedestal. While it feels good, consider the person's behavior. It is not a form of an emotional connection. They may ask you your worst fears or what you feel ashamed about. The toxic person isn't trying to develop an emotional connection with you, but rather they're trying to see what they may use against you. The second thing that you need to look out for is devaluing. Once a toxic person knows that you're committed to them, they will start sprinkling in emotional abuse. They will comment on your body, what you wear, or even judge your life goals. Everything that you told them in confidence, they will try to use against you. They will even try to go to lengths, as in to hurt your feelings by saying, oh, that's why your sister hates you, or that's why your mom doesn't like you. Things of like that nature. They may want to try to isolate you from the people who may tell you that this relationship is unhealthy. So try to be very mindful of these things. And last but not least, discarding. They will keep trying to suck you back into this toxic relationship. They will try to promise you things like they're trying to be better, when in reality, they rarely try to apologize for the things that they've done or even try to take responsibility for the terrible behaviors that they've done in the past. Beware of the things that they promise you because eventually that it will vanish. The relationship will be just as dysfunctional as it was before, if not even worse. You may even find that your partner has cheated on you or that they try to compare you to their ex. Keep in mind, these are manipulative, controlling, and narcissistic traits that you need to be aware of. One of the best things that you can do is go on a no contact or low contact from this person. Practice good self-care, including maybe letting in people who are emotionally healthy for you and limiting contact from people who are treating you unjust. Maybe even speak to a therapist because they keep things confidential. But most importantly, know that you're not alone. I mean, what's your guys' thoughts about this?